in Burien. We don't want to see anyone suffer. At this homeless encampment on a downtown corner, the deadline was posted days ago. There were public notices put out that stated uh, people need to leave this space uh, at midnight last night. That's when our lease took effect. We weren't going to come and wake them up at midnight, but we wanted them to know it was coming. Deborah George is the director of Burien Cares, a nonprofit animal shelter. She says cleaning crews showed up at 6 a.m. The encampment is being cleared. Um, and it was prior a dog park and we're bringing it back to be in a dog park. They're doing that after the city leased this land. The council voted to sign a lease for $185 a month, which is very little for a sizable space. Sydney Moore is a Burien City Council member. If we lease our public property to a private third party, then they can maintain control of that property and forcibly remove people. Do they all have a place to go? Uh, it appears like a lot of them do. There is not sufficient shelter space for people in this city. We have a regional homelessness crisis here. The county's regional homelessness authority took up that topic today. We will be developing a real time bed availability tool so all service providers can match people to beds faster. The governing committee uh, unanimously right, approved uh, a five year plan, one. which comes with the task of creating more than 18,000 additional temporary housing units. Back in Burien, this cleanup is not without conflict. I think this situation is being handled very poorly. Okay, encampments don't work. Um, they just don't work for the health and safety of the individuals in it and for the community around it. Now, the Regional Homelessness Authority says without significant changes, the county's homeless population will grow to 62,000 in the next five years. They're going to have more details about how they want to address this issue that they'll be releasing tomorrow. Live tonight in Burien, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.